So it, it, whenever we begin a street project, it's not uncommon for whenever we open up that road, despite all the planning, all the prep work, every, all the preliminary stuff that we've done, it, it's not uncommon that when we actually open up the road and dig the hole that we encounter something that we just weren't aware of. Um, in the case of Southwest Boulevard, when we, at that low water crossing, whenever we exposed uh, the sewer line in that, the sewer line wasn't at the elevation that we expected it to be. So when we we're going in and we're in the process of raising that road and putting in more box culverts to carry that water, the elevation that the box culverts were supposed to go into were actually in the same area as the existing sewer line. <clears throat> so we had to come in there and do some in the field uh, modifications to allow that sewer line to be replaced lowered but with the sewer line you can't just lower it it still has to maintain flows because it's all gravity flow on a sewer so um, where a water line you could just lower it it's pressurized and it's no big deal a sewer line is a, takes a little bit more but those type of situations are very common whenever you open up a road so it's not it's not something that surprised us it's something that we expect we just don't know what to expect whenever we do a project but we do expect those type of situations to come up and inevitably they do delay the project. So it will push that timeline out just a little bit from what the original 60 days that we had anticipated. Um, but it's in the end, we're getting the, the good product that we want, the project that's gonna work, both water, sewer, and storm flows are all gonna, all gonna work together. So, you know, in, in some of the cases of what we were hoping to be done before school started when all that traffic come across, Unfortunately, that's not gonna be the case. We are gonna push into September um, with that low water crossing area. Um, but we're aware of that. We are gonna have additional signage. We are gonna have some additional wayfinding um, around there to help people navigate that particular road closure while they're trying to get their kids to and from school. So um, hopefully that will help with some of the, the inconvenience of, of having to go around that during that delayed area, that delayed time. So. Um, another one of the things that always push us back is weather. It, it seems like we always go through a complete dry spell until we start a project and then it rains. Rain is great until you're doing a construction project and that delays it. So naturally with all the rains that we've had that even pushed that timeline back a little bit further. Um, again, we know it's going to happen, we just don't know for how long, but that will and that has delayed that opening of that particular roadway. Um, and the completion of that part of the project as well. So a uh, couple of the other areas on Southwest that we have going on, um, we're gonna start construction on the Southland and Southwest intersection. That's gonna be a full reconstruction of that particular intersection. So we're gonna be going in, pulling up the existing roadway and coming out in with a concrete intersection there, redoing all the signalized intersection and all the, ped the pedestrian elements in there as well. So. That's also ex expected to wrap up kind of in that mid-September, late September time frame. Uh, so you will see some traffic delays if you use that intersection to get to and from that Southland area right now. Um, if you're around Lamar Elementary and you're driving through that area, most of the sidewalk work is done. There's still some outstanding. Um, shouldn't have a huge impact on vehicular traffic uh, as far as kids walking to and from school, though they should be fine there. Um, some of the elements that we were putting in to allow access down both sides of the street are delayed a little bit, but we'll still have crossing guards and we'll still have safe passage for those students in that area um, during that time. We do still have the um, temporary signals at Twin Mountain Drive and Knickerbocker up. That should help a lot with that extra traffic that's gonna be going out that Twin Mountain Drive during the, while Southwest is closed. So we put up those temporary signals just to give all those cars a, a safe way to get in and out of Twin Mountain Drive and Knickerbocker Road with the amount of traffic on that. So, uh, and we'll be watching that, that intersection, making adjustments if we need to, if we see too many cars queuing up or uh, not enough time in one direction or another. Um, we'll be making those adjustments as we go as we go forward as well. The other major component of Southwest is that's going on is the reconstruction down by um, All American Dodge and the in the hotels down there just north of Sherwood Way. Um, 
they're working on that still. They're doing, so it's a cement stabilized base, so they're incorporating cement into that base to give us a firm structure that we can then lay the roadway on top of. So it, it, all these little components should be wrapping up in that same September time frame. So um, if you if you drive past that area and you don't see anybody working, it's because that cement needs about a three day cure time. So it's not, we're delaying the project, we have to give that time for that cement to cure before we can come and top it up, put a uh, pavement layer on top of that. So again, we're, we're making progress. We understand it's inconvenient on a lot of times. Unfortunately, that's just the nature of, of construction projects. We try to really think of all the scenarios and really come up with the least inconvenience that we can for our traveling public. But in the end, the ultimate goal is to have a good solid roadway again that's, that's pleasant to drive down.